um, we, we talk a lot about uh, our process internally. It's the same that we, we work with our, our client companies. Um, we're really uh, generating ideas, you know, through some kind of structured process. Um, we very quickly put math models to those ideas, and that could be revenue generation or cost savings or time, very quickly as we're capturing the idea. And that's what we do a lot of kind of fail fast, fail cheap cycles. In this early phase of discovery of the project, is it something that the client wants to move forward with their development process? So where we find a lot of success is in this front end piece of doing an early math model with some initial estimating and you're refining that math model as you learn more, right? We're going to save more money, we're going to generate additional revenue, or these are the kind of death threats or challenges with the project that we have to problem solve. And when you take that and you put that on front of a traditional product development process such as stage gate or Green Six Sigma uh, or a pace process or something like that, you get a lot more throughput through the process and typically you'll get higher value outcome on the back end of it. Um, so those are things that we do internally and also with our clients, but really understanding the math of, of the idea of, you know, will you save, will you generate revenue, uh, and what are the challenges with it and problem solving those is a real key on the front end part. Do you want to touch on your slides at this point? Yeah, we could we could okay. bring that up, sure, if, uh, if that helps you group there. Okay. <laughs> so we'll, we'll go right to the process here in just a second. We'll just show this from a uh, pipeline perspective. So um, the dark line on the chart really kind of shows uh, where your traditional gate process would start, that dark vertical line. So really what we're doing in this front end is, is identifying the ideas so there's a lot of stimulus and diversity. And we're creating, you know, is it an existing idea or is it something new? And there's all this noise that's happening in this front end, you know, this big front end of the funnel. And what we're looking to do is identify, is it a core idea? Is it something that's core to the business and we can just do it, right? And when we identify that, that's something that we quantify very quickly and just ship. But you've got these other things that drive a lot of fear, these, these leap innovations, the things that are kind of further out and you're not sure exactly how to do them. And in that process, this is where we do a lot of those rapid cycles of, of learning. So really what we're doing is doing those math models, doing these fail fast, fail cheap cycles. And really what we're trying to do before we get to that dark vertical line where your traditional gate process will start is can we make some smart kills really quickly. And what we see typically with this process on the front end is that you'll get about a 50% kill rate. And that's a good sign of a good success rate, that about 50% of what's coming in on the front end, you're killing before you get into your traditional development process. So this is just a quick example of, of how we do that. But that's very important, those first three phases on the front end, to rapidly learn those things as you go through that process. 